What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of 10K on the Bay. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to be reviewing the top or 10 of the top 100 stores on eBay. I'm super excited to check these stores out. Also, I'm going to do the normal reseller smackdown at the end of the show. So if you guys want me to review your store, please email me at 10k on the bay at gmail.com. I'm going to resume doing these Friday stores where we look at what to sell. And then also at the very end of the show, I'm going to go over some regular stores, but I've heard from people they want to learn from more experienced people first. So let's just get into it. This is the website webretailer.com. You can check out the top stores on the internet on eBay on this website. So you can scroll down and see, you know, like BHFO, everyone talks about their number nine. So you can look at the, the biggest stores in the world. Music Magpie has 8 million feedback. Crazy, right guys? So let's get straight into it. Then we're going to go over 10 categories today, the top things that people sell. And um, I'll just get, I'll just go over it uh, one by one. But basically it's home and garden, uh, video games, um, clothing, everything stores, consignment, Home and Garden again, I'm going to do a few of those. Games and collectibles, cell phones, car parts, knives, and then we're going to go into just regular people's stores. So pretty excited to review these guys because there's so many um, people who ask me what to sell on eBay. So just, let's get into it. The first one is Home and Garden. So here we have uh, Max Warehouse, 112,000 feedback, 89,000 items, looks like all brand new with tags so a lot of stores that are huge do a lot of new with tag stuff so if you look here you can see 112,000 feedback um lots of negative this could very very well be a um consignment shop oh, i'm sorry drop shipping let's take a look here and not a carry-on poor communication ordered 10 9 so it looks like late shipping is a good um Yes, this is a good indication that this is a drop shipper because if you're looking at um, people complaining about the length of time to get their item, um, slow shipping, shipping too slow. So this is um, different. If you you know cancel a lot of orders, you probably will lose your account. But if you have slow shipping, you're probably still going to be okay. And 99.2% feedback, you can see that's pretty exciting to still be able to do over 99% feedback at this kind of volume. I would guess they're doing... You know, at least twenty thousand transactions a day. They might be drop shipping guys. If you look at the store; it doesn't. You know, not using any real photos. These are a hundred percent stock photos. Let's see here: Adjustable Clamp Company, Polygroup Mix. See, a lot of these titles are just pure keywords. Um, they're not necessarily name brand stuff. Let's see here: a lot of home, home and garden. A lot of supplies. So this is this could easily be drop shift up off of like Walmart.com or a warehouse. There's also I've heard contract deal. You um you you can pay seven hundred dollars for access to a warehouse, for example, and you can list everything in their inventory. So if you were to go into their inventory, drop ship a hundred percent from their warehouse, all you would be doing is logistics to make sure these things arrive on time, which is clearly not easy when you're doing you know almost a thousand transactions a day it's pretty intense trying to get to this level but this is either drop shipping um or they have a deal with where a warehouse locally uh, i'm just not sure why they have so many feedback that are you know 58 uh so many late shipments <clears throat> but it's better than did not receive or confused my order with another one it just seems like things were really late so let's go to the next one this is lukey games so they have ten thousand items for sale um four hundred and ninety one thousand feedback that's pretty insane um and you can see they have replenishables so this is um a store that probably gets a lot of their stuff online because i think i've had uh, i've actually had these people buy from me when i put up something really cheap um it's been sniped probably by these guys um, and you can see here, like brand new RV cable, 72 sold at 499. Many, many of these items are replenishable. And maybe all of them. 333 sold. Um, free shipping and free returns, guys. So that's pretty aggressive. Also, promotion. Look at how aggressive their their things look. Top rated plus, plus free shipping, plus free returns, plus a discount, 
this is the promotions that you, on the promotions tab that you guys can use. So they're utilizing all the eBay tools to get the most sales. That's a staggering amount of feedback. Um, so it looks like they're selling, you know, at least five to six thousand items per month. Not as many as the previous store, um, but a pretty aggressive or much much less negative feedback than the store we were just looking at. And also, they've received almost um, looks like they've done one point three million transactions. And they have 742,000 feedback. Wow, that's pretty good, guys. It's almost half of there. They actually get it. So look at their items. Whoa, look at this ASP, guys. It's under 20 bucks. So if you guys hear from a lot of the videos that I've been talking about, you have um, the majority of eBay is under $20. So it's just something to look at when you guys are checking out feedback. A lot of these high volume people are doing volume with cheap stuff. That's very common. And you know I totally respect that. Um, Riley says that your shoes are on the left side. The reason that your shoes are on the left side is because I'm going to be reviewing your store earlier and I am looking at the store and eBay is going to automatically repopulate items that you're looking at on the left side. Um, but 10,000 items here is pretty interesting. Lots of cheap stuff. Let's see if they have any good stuff. I would say that they do. Looks like they have rare games that are in the $500 range, $300 range. So they're very specifically in the niche of video games, guys. Maybe the easiest thing to sell because you only really need one picture. Um, I like this a lot because they will give you an idea of the complete what you're getting in the box in the first picture. And I like that because I like to see what I'm getting into before I start. Man, I had this. Okay. Now we're gonna go to the next one. I pulled this up earlier because I searched botas in the search category because one of my friends told me that a lot of Spanish keywords pop up. So a lot of Spanish keywords pop up. I was just curious, I tested it. We can actually test it again right now. If we type in botas and we go to best match, they're actually the very first listing, incredibly enough. So 4890, or um, they've sold 2000 of these shoes at 60 bucks. That's $120,000 on just one item. They're very specifically niche, Western boots. So you can see 786 items, all boots. Fantastic to niche down like this. You really get to know what's going on. Um, they're doing very, very well. Top rated, 98% feedback is a little bit low. Let's find out why their feedback is low. Looks like um, Boot had a defect, waiting for item. Let's see, many times you reduce money off my amount. Don't know what that means. Really bad boots, not steel toe. Size is incorrect. So, you know, just your normal thing. I think that comes with the fact that you're buying a $58 boot. Come on. Like, how can people be this picky? But again, a lot of times when you sell on eBay, you can find out that a lot of the pickiest buyers are the ones that um, pay the least. So try to, if you can, uh, stay in a higher category. But if you're buying a really nice, um, genuine leather boot for 58 bucks new, I totally wouldn't expect super, super premium quality. But look at these photos, guys. Really good. Pure white background, actual photos. Um, give you a clear idea of what it looks like. Oh, wow. Why is this like in the cubby? Um, this is cool. Looking at the details. Rubber soles, which are cheaper than leather, of course, um, but more comfortable. So this is good. It's like your basic boot. Um, 2,000 is crazy. 289 views per day. Imagine if you just had one listing, guys, to get your six figures. Okay. Next thing is Art of Deals. 2,409 items. Look at this freaking wallet, guys. 5,641 sold. That is that is awesome. Hammer Anvil, minimalist front pocket wallet, RFID blocking thin. Those are the key words that people are looking for when they sell wallets. Why don't you go in there and check it out? That's pretty exciting to get something that sells 5,000 units. I mean, yes, it's, a, it's not a ton of money per unit, but you're looking at uh, $56,000 on just one item. Art of Deals, my guess is they're buying closeout or liquidation. Look at this, 400,000 feedback. You know, 12, 13,000 item sales a month at least. Um, 500 million or 500,000 feedback received and over a million feedback left. Very, very cool. Um, let's look at their items and see what they cost. A lot of $20 free shipping, $40 free shipping. Hustlebee's in the chat. What's going on? I think it's very cool to mention that Hustlebee and I had talked about going for this mid range shoe, right? This. $40 shipped shoe category is massive. 
but you just have to sell a lot of them to make money. So it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, definitely the majority of the shoes on eBay are in this category. Because look at this pair of shoes is brand new for 40 bucks. Um, you could get, you know, you can't even get really a nice pre-owned high-end shoe for 40 bucks. But, you know, see they're competing against that. Would you rather have a brand new pair of shoes that's lower quality or a pre-owned expensive pair of high-end leather? So you can take a look. It's up to you. But I think the majority of buyers opt for the cheaper option if they're just going um, for basic work gear. Um, most of these big sellers, guys, sell new with tags. It's very, very common. It's an easy way to scale. Uh, very crisp. These all look like stores, not like people. But let's go to the next one. This is consignment. This is the largest store I have ever seen. So I thought swap.com was big and a million listings. These guys have 2.5 million listings. <laughs> that is crazy, guys. Um, 2.5 million um, items, 16,000 feedback a month. Man, this makes my brain hurt. 16,000 feedback per month. Um, 400,000 feedback um, received. Whoa, guys, these, these seem relatively new. They've only been a member since 2016. Wow. They broke into the top 100 in eBay in one year, guys. One, uh, like one and a half years. Look at this. 287,000 feedback this year. That's crazy. So there's a lot of people saying, oh, it might take a long time for you to be successful on eBay. This is a really great thing for the haters. Haters are like, oh, I don't listen to people who haven't been doing it for a long time. Would you listen to this person? They've only been on eBay for a year and a half. But obviously, you wouldn't listen to them, right? So they have 2.5 million things for sale. That is that is so freaking amazing. Let's look at their solds in the last 90 days to get an idea. Staggering. 73,000 feedback in the last um, 90 days. So 25, you know, this is almost like 100,000 transactions a month. That is crazy. Wow. So you're looking at all these, you know, sub $20 items. Again, guys, if you're looking for crazy volume, a lot of these people are under $20. Um, and absurdly low feed, um, negative feedback. Are you kidding me? Six negative feedback out of 16,512. That's not even, it's not even a tenth of a percent. Wow. 178 negative over the course of a year. That's insane. So, and they only have 44 revised feedback. Guys, they're doing a tremendous job. Um, beware sneaky practices got two cards at a great price i wouldn't be surprised see look three negative feedback are from the same person right this could be their competition you never know who's leaving you negative feedback um look at this one two three four negative from one guy um see this is crazy there's four negative feedback from one person um and they probably didn't I bet you they didn't screw up all four transactions. Maybe one or two of these was were canceled and the buyer was just pissed and they just left four negative feedback. Brutal. That is brutal. So they're doing an amazing, amazing job, guys. Six negative feedback out of 16,000 feedback. That is insane. So that is cards. This is the category of cards. I've seen a ton of people crush. Ooh, Emily Mead. Let's see. I just got a comment that said I have, I have perv eyes every time i interview an attractive female i don't know what that means but um i'll just take it in stride so we have here a lot of collectible cards in the high end um, eight thousand nine thousand dollar level wow so this is the deal guys when you're doing consignment look at this rookie um curry steph curry card when you sell consignment You've got to sell everybody's category, everybody's stuff, not just their good stuff. You got to take all their junk. In order to get the junk, you've got to, you know, in order to get the great stuff, you've got to sell all their stuff. So these people are probably buying out gigantic collections of people. <clears throat> you guys know, <clears throat> excuse me, mastermind number of my mastermind number one, Frank, or I'm not going to mention his name, Frank, he sells cards and he was talking about trying to list 20 to 50 cards an hour using a machine, or maybe it's 20 to 50 cards every 10 minutes, but I can't even really imagine how you do 2.5 million listings. Um, <laughs> that's, that's crazy, guys, 2.5 million, that's inspiring. Okay, let's go to Shopsy. This is the home and garden category again. Uh, 300,000 um, feedback, 52 
um, negative. I like to see this positive feedback over 99% because that means they're doing a great job with customer service. Let's, let's see why they're getting negative. And the reason why I'm looking at their negative is just so we can learn from them. Um, we never get a product, never left the US, um, doesn't work. Uh, shipped from Amazon. Ooh, guys, that is awesome. That means this company probably is drop shipping straight from Amazon. That is amazing. That's so cool, guys, that you can get some software, list 31,000 items from Amazon, not have anything in stock, right? Check this out. And it's, uh, you know, potentially a thousand orders a day. If you're getting 30,000 transactions, let's take a look here. Um, 772,000 feedback in the last year and um, 314,000 feedback left. That's great, guys. That's like half of the people leaving you a feedback. They must actually email their customers and say, please leave us a feedback. Otherwise, how do you get that big of a percentage of people? I mean, does anybody in the chat get half of their people to leave a feedback? That is insane. So Shopsy appears to me that they're just shipping directly from Amazon. That is amazing. So look at this, 100% stock photos. You don't need a photographer. All you need is a robot to find stuff on Amazon. Ships Prime. And the feedback literally said they're charging more than Amazon. It's like, of course, they're selling more than Amazon if they're selling directly from them. And 99% of people are okay with that. So despite people saying you're going to ruin your account if you drop ship or do something, clearly, you can still have 99% satisfaction if you're just really, really paying attention to your um, customer service. And look at this, only two revised feedback, which means they're not even messing with people if they leave a negative feedback. They're just moving on. You know, like you see some people, they really work hard to keep their feedback clean. This person is not doing anything because they've only have two revised feedback. That's extremely low. Um, I have more revised feedback than that. Um, I just want to check Greg Morris cards again because I want to see how many revised feedback they have because they've done a million feedback with no negative um, revised. Okay, 40. So they revised 40 negative. You guys want to check out this store, one of my favorites. They're like in the top 10 for eBay, 138,000 transactions, no negative. Okay, now we're going to go to Gear XS. Again, probably another drop shipping store or something that has that kind of uh, software set up because you're looking at 4,000 items, um, all in the reasonable price range. These look like they're just drop shipped off of a different website. Um, pretty intense, 813,000 feedback. Um, mm, much higher negative feedback ratio. And this is, this is great because we can go in here and figure it out. Uh, product is cheaply made, garbage, thanks for nothing. <laughs> These are hilarious. Avoid spammer, item has not been received, rechargeable battery wasn't working. So yeah, they're selling cheap Chinese junk probably so you're getting all this stuff you know i'm chinese myself but you gotta you gotta just take it if you're if you're ordering stuff for uh, only a couple of bucks from china um, it's probably not going to be very high quality um, it just starts on the front end some of the nicest stuff in the world is made in china too but most people who are doing private label or selling stuff for cheaper ordering the lowest cost lowest minimum order quantity stuff um Guys, it's insane. The $10 free shipping model, it works if you have thousands and thousands and thousands of sales. So crazy. Um, let's see how many feedback they have. They've received 2.2 million feedback. Staggering, guys. A million feedback left. Uh, that is very, very cool. They have the um, amazing green shooting star. Man, they really probably want to get to that million mark. They're they're, they're pushing. So every for to each their own. You can see different um, different people are doing different things. But the, a lot of these gigantic stores are drop shipping. Okay, here we go. Rubio Magic, um, two hundred and fifty seven thousand feedback. This is in the game and collectible. I don't think they're doing a lot of drop shipping to be honest. Uh, here we have a pre sale. Mrs. Magic cards, probably Pokemon cards. Um, Again, cards is a massive, massive category. What? Look at all these dollar items, people. So many dollar items. <clears throat> 102,000 feedback in the last year. Um, 1 million received. Or 1 million feedback sold. 500,000 uh, feedback means they're probably messaging their people again and asking for positive feedback. Probably as simple as, hey, if you um, 
want to buy, or I mean, please give us an opportunity to fix it if you're not happy. Also, make sure to leave us a positive feedback. It really helps us out. Something like that would get people to leave you a feedback. Um, some people say don't poke the sleeping bear, don't ask for feedback. But you know, it's up to you however you guys want to do it. Whether you ask or not, feedback is not as important as it used to be. Um, let's see if they do auctions. No, not really. So they do auctions on massive collections. Um, but on their regular listings, looks like their average sale price is really low. Um, but they do have, again, like all these stores. This is something I want to point out really quick. The people who have the most home runs are the people who do the most volume. That's always the case in every single industry. People are just like, oh, I only sell things for you know, $100 profit. Well, let's look at how many things they have that are $100 profit. Like, um, whoa, actually way less than expected. I, I guess I'll eat my own shoe. One, two, three, four, five, six. They only have like 20 items that are that are potentially $100 profit. Everything else is cheap. Ah, wow, Hustlebee. Hustlebee's in the chat talking about $150 ASP. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. They have 24 items <laughs> out of 21,000 that are over $150 ASP. Ken must be laughing because they have 20,000 cheap items in their store. Crazy volume. So I love it. These are all sort of operations, guys. I don't think you get this many listings by yourself unless you're just an animal. Okay, here we go. Cell phones. Um, Starlink One, one of the largest cell phone people in the country. Um, let's look at... Oh, my... Are you serious? Look at this, guys. They have... Um, 500,000 feedback and they don't have anything over $15 in their store. My mind is blown. 6,716 feedback, not one item over $15. Wow. Oh, wow. That's insane. 6,700. No, this is like, again, like a thousand orders a day. Oh, crazy. Three packs of screens, 117 sold, 901 sold, 80, 51 sold. This stuff's crazy. Look how small this stuff is. You could probably have 1,280 listings in one room. You, you could actually do this by yourself. 1,000, 1,200 items? That's not like, um, it's not out of question. Um, if you, you just need you know, a bunch of people to help you ship. There's no, <laughs> I cannot believe this, guys. The highest thing in their store is $15. They have free shipping and they have buy one, get one 50% off. That is nuts. Uh, let's look at their titles. Okay. I like this. They put the quantity in the front of the title. So 10 pieces, three, 3x, 2x, new. So everyone says that the first few words are the most important. But I see a lot of large sellers use things like that, 2x, 2-pack. Like 2x2 pack is not the brand and it's not what it is. It's how many, right? I think I would type in glass screen protector before two two pack premium, right? You would think you would think you would enter in what you're looking for first, but I guess in the end, it really doesn't matter. People can find it. Um, this person, he only sold 28 of these, probably pretty disappointed in that. Um, why does he have so many negative feedback? 98.3 um, uh, garbage product, waste of money. Okay, yeah. So again, people who buy things that are $1.95 are complaining about the quality of the item. <laughs> 275 terrible product. Guys, you don't want to sell junk, but that being said, 98% of people are still happy. Um, so you can just sell cell phone accessories and become one of the top 100 eBayers on planet Earth. You just have to sell a lot of them. Just sell a thousand of them per day. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, let's go to car parts. Here we have car ID, 209,000. Holy free holy. 500,000, half a million listings. Crazy. Uh, ooh, top 1,000 reviewer, guys. These guys write guides. So I saw this in one of the... Um, or not. <laughs> they, they're one of the top 1,000 reviewers, but they don't have any reviews. What's up with that, eBay? Um, maybe you don't have to even write, you, maybe you only have to write one review and delete it to be in the top 1,000. But that, that looks like a pretty cool icon. So you have 
Tons of feedback, but the stuff is a lot more expensive. This might be a good category to be in, guys, because you're seeing already the second item is over $100, fourth item is over $100, some $600 items. So there's probably some margin built in. Car ID might be the way to go, guys. If you guys haven't explored car parts, it may be something that you may want to get into. $500,000. Let's look at some expensive stuff. Uh, in the chat, you guys should guess how high the stuff should be in, like the highest stuff in this store. I'm going to guess there's stuff in this store that's five grand. Um, if you're selling car parts, maybe there's engines, there's motors. I actually don't know what's going to be in this, but let's find out. 20 grand. I was way off. Look at these Brembo. Brembo brakes. Sick. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. 20 grand free shipping, free returns. These are so heavy. I wonder what I wonder what a um a set of brakes weighs. Free shipping and free return. That's insane. I don't know if I would offer free returns on something this heavy. Um, lots of brakes. They must be a Brembo dealer. That's insane. Um, what? They're like on fire with their brakes. Mm. Holy cow. Okay, they sell a lot of brakes, guys. Let's hear. Let's go to their sold listings and see what's up. So items for sale, obviously a half a million. No big deal. And now we're going to go to sold. Oh, only 10,000 items sold in the last 90 days, but they're all replenishable. Let's look at highest first. They haven't sold any of those Brembo breaks, at least. Actually, that's not true because we all know that you can hide sold, so we don't know. And if they have the out of stock option clicked, you can only see some of the stuff that they've sold and people have canceled or returned. You, you don't really know what these are. It's not a good indication. I think you should actually look at the people's feedback to get an idea of their, of their volume. But they're selling rims, um, tons of just tons of car parts. You know, they did sell some Brembos. Um, these are probably returned though. That's why they um, showed up in the completed soft tops. Man, again, this could be a drop shipping company too, but I don't think so because they're actually. Let's look at their negative feedback and just find out. Did not have item in stock. Waste of time. Canceled order. Uh, partly damaged, offered a $20 gift card. Got the wrong part. Uh, doesn't work. Full refund was issued. Uh, we apologize. Will not return. So yeah, just your normal customers that are unhappy when they buy something. Again, sometimes people leave double negative feedback, which sucks when people order more than one thing and they double ding you. Uh, 30 days, no merchandise, customer service, playing games. Could be drop shipping. Could be warehouse ordering. 580000 that's a lot of stuff, guys. But it could be one person with software. You never know. Okay, here we go. Knives. This is a really cool store, guys. I wanted to bring this up because it's a very niche thing, and I think they have them all in stock because these do not look like stock photos. So they have a 79.39, or I mean, about 8,000 items for sale, all knives or and a flashlight. Let's see. <laughs> Let's go to highest first. What? Okay. So we've got whole. What are these guys? 48x monster. What is this? What is this thing? I don't know what these are. Are these fuses? Oh, stun gun. Monster stun gun? I don't know what these are. Mm, 18 million volt stun gun? Holy sh crap. That is uh, very powerful. Better not piss off somebody that has that many with them. So knives, tactical gear. Um, Man, why would you need that many if you weren't a reseller? If you were preparing for the um, preparing for the zombie apocalypse, <laughs> you would need all this stuff. But this is probably for resale, guys. If you wanted to order some for your shop or if you owned a gas station, this is the, the stuff that I see at the front desk. Uh, flea wholesale. Oh, cool. So if you guys are looking for stuff to buy, you can literally order from these people. KY Knives. Security hats, wholesale. This is $4 a hat. Hmm. 
lot of wholesale. This is the first wholesaler that I've seen in this. So they made it into the top 100 with only 8,000 items. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good if you ask me. Um, a million feedback received. So guys, this is also important to realize. Look at how many repeat buyers they have. Feedback is the number of unique people who've left you a feedback, right? So here you have 1 million feedback received on 407. So that you have people buying tons of different items. Let's see if we can see any repeat. Yeah, right here. Right on the first page, this person bought three things. So you buy three things, combine the shipping. It's fantastic. It's probably all fits in a uh, padded flat rate. And that's fantastic. Um, very, very great feedback. 99.6. Uh, told item was mislisted. Only received four out of the five. Uh, here's one of those um, people that left a double negative. Brutal. Um, poor quality. Two knives short. Okay, so again, similar stuff, guys. When you're doing this kind of volume, you probably just make mistakes. It's hard to, to get a thousands of orders out per week or per day. Uh, and do it perfectly. Um, unless you are the people who sell cards, for some reason, you could sell a thousand cards a day with very little or no mistakes. Pretty amazing. So I like this knife store. Um, okay, so now, um, before I go, I just wanna see their picture. So this is, these pictures look like they're just on this dude's, it could be a dude, it could be a chick. Um, the wood background really beat up wood um i actually like it. it makes it give it gives it the outdoor feel um not bad okay now that we've reviewed the top 100 stores in the world let's review some regular people so here we have franchise stuff um pretty good um seller this is a, a person that sent me their store to get reviewed um they have 4900 items for sale and um 135 feedback per month. So really low sell-through rate. You're only They're selling about 10% of their items per month or a little bit less. Uh, let's take a look at their items and take a look. Wow, this Lululemon pair of pants seems like it's unusually cheap. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe there's a stain. Um, I actually think you would do better if you made the picture square so you could take up the full amount of the space. Um, these, these pictures of pants look fine. They, they don't look professional, in my opinion. It definitely looks like, because of the grayness in the background, they don't pop like the people who do the pure white background. Um, that would be a criticism, and that would be one of the reasons why I don't do white background, because I'm not interested in trying to make them look that great. Um, you have, let's see, how much of this stuff's pre-owned? So most of it's pre-owned. You have 800 new, which is fantastic. Use the mannequin or flat lay. Um, some people I've seen put the size at the end. I do it like you though. I put the size right, right after what the item is. Um, I think you may get some, um, better traction if you charge for shipping. So I would do both a mix of free shipping and some without just to get an idea of what works better for you. Maybe free shipping does work for you. You're running a promotion. looks like a, uh, what is that? 15% off a 30% off. So 30% off. Um, you're doing a great job of executing the defect. Um, your Lululemon stuff seems really cheap to me. I don't know why um, you're selling Lulu for 17 bucks shipped. Unless it's not a popular style or something. Let's see. If you scroll down, you're top rated, which is fantastic. Um, let's look at what is selling. Uh, Paul and Shark, Ralph Lauren. Man, Ralph Lauren sells so well. Looks like you have upgraded your photos over the... Um, over the the years or the months that you've been selling on eBay, because here you can see here, this is distracting to me having this stuff in the background. I'd rather have it be consistent. Um, let's see some flat lay, some not members only jacket. So from from what it initially looks like to me, a lot of your inventory looks stale. Looks like it's been around for a while. You started this. You've had this store for a long time. I don't know. I don't know what, what you guys should put in the chat. What do you think this person could do to uh, improve their store? Oh, there's no gender in the listing. That's a great, great tip. So whoever's store this is, there's no gender. Um, that is massive. So you want to put gender either as the second or third word. This is fantastic. I love doing this live because you guys can take a look and get an idea of what to improve. So adding the gender should give you a boost. 
definitely. Um, you also want to maybe look at words like legging and jegging is what people are saying. I don't know if these are like leg leggings that look, they look like straight up crop pants. Um, but again, look for what's selling. That does seem unusually cheap to me. Your bin system is probably this D28. Maybe removing that and putting it in the custom SKU might help. Um, that's going to be something that helps. It helped me. I used to put it in the title too, um, and I moved it. Now my sell-through rate has improved. Um, but I have the same amount of feedback with one-third the items. So um, definitely you may want to source a little bit better than getting items that are more popular. Um, and then, hmm, looks like you're doing some new stuff. There's uh, how many items? 863 new items. This must be retail arbitrage or the outlet. And in this case, um, wow, this must be, are these new, newly listed? Why does this picture look so much better? Let me look at um, newly listed. Well, that's not true. These are new, these are, these have been recently listed too. What happened to your uh, beautiful background? It's all gray now. Um, look at how different this is, guys. This is the, oh, it's not. I guess if you do a white background and you crop your photo, eBay adds the white on the left and the right, but you can see how much better this looks having the um, the entire square filled up versus like right here, you can see it cropped either horizontally or vertically like this. And you can just see to me, this looks like a store and this looks like some dude's garage. But um, pretty interesting. I would definitely go gender. All right, let's go to the next store. Um, here we have the Fantastic Curio Shop. I think this is Chris. Chris, what's going on? Um, looks like you're either just getting started. Uh, 46 store uh, items. So it's going to be hard to really make any judgments because your store is so small. Um, so I wouldn't make any major changes until you have a lot of stuff listed. So right here, like vintage 1981 Trivial Pursuit, I can see that you didn't put a space here. So that would prevent somebody from finding this um i this is a i don't like the extraneous stuff in the background um you are you're kind of misusing this light box it's supposed to have a like a white sheet that comes down on the box um in front of it to give it a better look but you should be able to take perfect pictures of the light box um you're not doing this light box justice my friend but these are the these are photos that you need. Um, I would say when you're taking a photo, don't have this box is amazing um, and very distracting. I can't pay attention to the shoe because of the box. So um, I would say try to center the photos. The more time you take in making the photos um, centered and legit, and try to take square photos if you can for shoes, because then it's easier for people to see. Uh, Chris's fantastic finds. Robert Wayne. Yeah, I don't like the um, the non-continuous background. Let's see. The, I mean, these you have a, a great camera. So it's either a high-end cell phone or um, a nice camera. Because these pictures, a lot of these pictures are really good as far as focus. Um, not too bad. Hard to say. I don't like all caps. I don't know if you guys want to go that way, um, but I don't. I don't do the um, all caps thing because I think it, it shows up sh lower in search. Um, I put vintage at the end when I do it, and I use VTG so I can save. And I don't use the word with because it's not searchable. Um, I don't use the um, parent or the quotation marks or any types of hyphens because those don't those don't show up in search and it's a waste of a character. Um, Navajo Indian horsehair wedding vase, nice. Uh, how'd you get the the umflauf? Is that what that U is called? I forget, I don't know how to pronounce it. Into the listing, it's like a German letter. Do you guys put new in the title? I mean, first or the end? Um, okay, that might be controversial here, but I don't care about putting new all in caps or mint all in caps or rare all in caps because those aren't searchable anyway really so i don't know i think it, it does stand out to me i don't know i don't do it but i think that that is okay um because it's not a searchable term anyway some people put sz for size do you guys do size s-i-z-e -I, I don't put anything i just put eight um, i would just put um madova men's 
white gloves 6.5. Oh, they're women's actually. Um, Madova women's white gloves 6.5. That's how I would write that title, but it's up to you. Um, you have a, sm a smaller store, so it's hard to make any judgments, but your photos are okay. At least they're natural looking. Like I would prefer this photo if there was no background because it's not artificial. If you used a, a white box with perfect lighting and you ex overexposed it so it's a pure white background, I actually prefer this photo over that. But I don't like the seam and the darkness in the corners. Okay, let's go to the next door. Stunning to me. Um, what do you guys think of this um, purplish background? Um, 135 feedback, all positive. Um, he or she said that I could go hard on them. I always go hard hard on people. Don't worry. Let's see here. Top rated seller. Amazing. Uh, do you guys do J dot crew, J space crew, J dot crew, no spaces? How do you guys handle the, the J crew in the title? Um, size extra large. We have the gender. We have the type. Um, button front. I, I just use the word button. I don't put button front. I just put button. Um, I think I may be missing the front because some people think button front, button down. They By button down, they mean like the collar is buttoned. Some people mean button down is the front. Button front's pretty clear. It's the front. Um, also, words like dress, career, work, all that stuff for women matter. I don't know how to use those because I'm not a chick, though. But if you want to do it, um, get it. Hey, Chris, if you want me to um, review your store, email me at 10 bay at gmail.com. You can buy me a cup of coffee or you don't have to. I'll just do it on the show. But um, yeah, free people. Wow, good stuff. Um, I like to wear a lot of free people when I'm lounging by the pool. Abercrombie and Fitch. Um, I like these cute Instagrammable um, Poshmark style photos. If I was a chick, I would be more likely to buy it if you had a pineapple in the picture. And this is an alarm clock. Oh, okay. You have the pineapple. So it's okay. I would buy this from you if I wanted it. It's important to have the pineapple. Oh, snap. A vintage porcelain cat music box. Oh, wow. Somebody should buy this on the chat. It's amazing. Okay. Let's go and see. So I like your store. Um, again, too small to really make any huge judgments. Um, 389 items and 11 sold. Okay, so not a very great sell-through rate. So let's see what we can do to help this person sell more. Let's look at the sold. 103 in the last 90 days. Oh, this is one of those weird glitches again. I wonder if it does it still. Remember when I used to re refresh this? It used to give 60 versus 90 days. Now it must just be the 90 days. Um, personally, I don't like it when it's crooked. And when it's crooked, it's confusing to me. I have to tilt my head to the side, do that. I, I, I don't think it's as artistic as the pineapple. I would rather you have a pineapple and no tilting. Like this, all right, let's go newly listed. So you've switched to the mannequin with the purple background. You have the full square, which I like. Colorado says the pink makes you think of a 90s kitchen or your mom's kitchen. Um, I don't know if I like the pink versus the white. I actually, I'm neutral. I think the pink background might make some colors look strange, but um, I think white looks like I don't like the white background here where there's like darker and lighter. When I want white background, I want it like this where it's pure white. But it's more forgivable if it's a different color, in my opinion. I don't know what you guys think, um, but good store. This cat is really evil. I love it. <laughs> um, nice. Mugs, mugs, mugs. I remember when I used to sell mugs. This is the um, Moscow Mule mug, isn't it? Uh, I guess they're, could they be used for Moscow Mule? I would do that. Oh, actually, this is like, is this something more serious and not used to be used for partying? I don't know. But I like to figure out what keywords work well with that. I like just artistic stuff. Greg Norman, you're charging. Uh, some of your items are cut off, which makes it look a little bit less professional. Um, I like this. How come you don't use this background? This background is legit. This looks like a light box. 
But look look at the detail on this picture. This is a great photo. I like the textured background like this. I don't know if that's from damage, but it makes it um, makes the item pop more in my mind than a pure flat white um, background. I like the texture better. That's just me though. Um, Ralph Lauren, good stuff. Wait, let's go high to low and see if you have any home runs. You do. You know how to sell. So you have items over 100 bucks, which is the bomb. You need to have those. You need to sell in a category where it does matter. Uh, vin vintage. So if you're going to, um, let's see. So you do have it. I would say uh, instead of having um, the stuff in the background, you see how like your item is only about 20, like 30% of the picture. I would rather go all the way to the edges so I can see a better idea without having to click into the close-up picture. Um, but I like these photos a lot. Very clear. But uh, I would say that you definitely need more items and more of a variety. Looks like you sell mostly clothing. I would mix it up a little bit. And women's clothing is so insanely competitive. So expect to have need a lot of women's clothing or to sell it really cheap to really move it quickly. Um, also, you got to get your Instagram game up because you only have 19 followers. 20 now. Okay. Let's go to Riley. Riley Donovan. Hopefully that's not your real name. You shouldn't post your real name on the internet. Um, just kidding. So four feedback. Um, 31. Let's see here. 25 items for sale. Not a lot to um, to go off of, but I can tell right away how busy all this stuff is. It's very difficult for me to see what this is from the photograph. Yeah, it's very confusing because this this I'm assuming is the sleeve. It's not a good way to present this item because I can't even tell what it is. Um, yeah, very difficult. So these this this is the some dude's house look, and this some dude's house look, in my opinion is going to hurt your sales because it's hard to see the item. Um, in the first picture, you want to be able to see the whole item, in my opinion, like uh, like this. You can see the whole shoe. Um, or you know, like if you're going to lay it out, you want to see the entirety of the item. It's going to help people see. Let's see here. This is really too busy, man, having all this stuff. Or I assume you're a dude. All this stuff in the background makes it really hard to see. I would not do that. I mean, worst case scenario, just put a sheet over your bed and just have a neutral background. This is really hard to see the item. Also, there's different lights coming in from different areas. There's like a window right here. Um, the only thing that I like about this photo is that it probably is very, uh, very much like what it looks like in real life. Um, one thing about taking pictures that are unprofessional is that you know, rarely in real life do you actually have a white background. Um, Mary has a good point. The, your pictures are too dark. Um, and then these are the wrong pictures to have. If you're going to highlight the, the, the Nautica, you want to have it be this picture, like literally just the pocket. This part of the shirt is completely worthless to me as a buyer. I only care about this Nautica 1983, um, you know, um, competition might be another word you put in the title. Um, yeah, this, the lighting is so, this is a good example, no offense, of what not to do. Look at all the different lighting. Um, it's not consistent. The item is cut off. You can't see any of the, um, potential defects. You, you want to be able to see the full Nautica. This makes it seem like you don't care when you only have part of it cut off. Cause I don't, I care a lot more about seeing the tag to verify authenticity than the made in Peru part. Um, also, more pictures are going to make you rank higher. But again, small store. You don't want to. You don't want to go crazy. I'm glad you're just getting stuff up. But you can see here. This is an example. See how you can see the whole shoe, and this you can see the whole hat. Makes a big difference because now I don't have to click in to see if I want it. Ah, good stuff. Free shipping. It's good to get started. Uh, vintage '80s gray tag. Nice. You know you you know your stuff. You know that I just got a vintage gray piece also. Um, no, I don't think this is a vintage tag, is it, guys? Um, it's not not the vintage gray tag that I'm that I'm used to. Um, this might be more current than you think, dude. Let's see. But yeah, 
All right, guys. Uh, we are just heading up on one hour right now. If you guys want to have your store reviewed by me, email me at 10 bay at gmail.com. If you want to join my mastermind, we review your store every week. Make sure that you're growing in the right direction. It's important to surround yourself with happy people. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. And by next week, I mean tomorrow. <laughs>